Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and my video of this beautiful, beautiful 2008 Honda CRV today. I'm uh, going to do a walk around presentation inside, outside, under the engine uh, compartment, talk about this car and its history, and uh, also we'll do a separate driving video of me test driving this car a good 20 or so miles in the city and on the freeway. So take a look for that on my channel as well, should be right next to this one. Uh, this is a very, very nice and very well cared for one owner car. This is a one owner CRV EX Glacier Blue Metallic is the outside color name. Let me say that again. This is a one owner car. Not often to find one owner cars at this age. Uh, this body style CRV is a huge improvement over the previous much more current looking, quite frankly. Uh, bigger wheels, bigger, a little bit bigger body, more rounded lines. Uh, this is just a really, really nice SUV. It's been very well cared for. There's the factory sunroof. This is an EX model. Um, very, very clean, ready to go, uh, fully serviced. I'm gonna tell you about that here in a moment. Uh, great miles per gallon, 27 miles per gallon on this. Um, I would think this would make an excellent car for a first time driver. Uh, definitely a good car for anyone, but uh, certainly for first time driver. Uh, easy to see out of, easy to park, manageable size, lots of glass to see all the way around. Also very safe, uh, side airbags all the way from the front to the rear on this. It has side curtain airbags front to back, anti-lock brakes, traction control, just uh, nice, Nice, nice car for anyone, but particularly first time drivers should feel very confident and very safe in, in this. Uh, yeah, so 27 miles to the gallon, great fuel mileage. And of course, I don't need to say too much about this because everybody pretty much knows at this point, and especially if you've heard me harp on other videos, but Honda, legendary reliability, low cost of ownership, great cars. They go and go and go forever and ever. I've mentioned on other Honda videos, uh, the highest mileage Honda I've ever sat my seat, my, um, my, my butt in the seat, uh, had 650,000 miles and was still running and sounding just like this does right now. Um, it's a little windy here today, hopefully not picking up too much of that wind noise. Um, great cars, great cars with proven reliability, low cost of ownership, and uh, just can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with, with this or any other Honda product car. Also, of course, Toyotas, Nissans, and the like. Um, this is well equipped, but uh, before we look at the inside, I want to tell you about the service that I've just had done to it. As you may have noticed, the tires are brand new. So it has four brand new all season Kelly tires on it. Um, brand, brand new 60,000 mile tread life tires. Uh, also had all four shock and strut assemblies complete shock strut assemblies replaced in the front and the back so all four are brand new uh, you know that's something that not everybody does but until it's really time to uh, and now this is certainly going to go another 200,000 miles never needing to have those replaced again so um, the front lower ball joints were also replaced uh, stabilizer links, which are the little barbell looking smaller suspension pieces. They look like little barbells in the front and the rear. Also had those replaced and it has a new battery and had a fresh oil change. Um, so four brand new tires, new shock and strut assemblies all the way around, new stabilizer links all the way around, new lower ball joints in the front, a new battery and a fresh oil change. A lot of stuff, a lot of recent maintenance. Um, also, couple other notes. Uh, both airbag assemblies were replaced uh, just here recently at Lindsay Honda, part of a recall from Honda. So they've both been uh, replaced and upgraded to whatever the newer design is that they want these cars to have. So that's been done as well, so you don't have to worry about it. Look how nice and clear the headlights are. I want to point that out when we're first coming around here in the front. So nice and clear and in great shape. Um, it's also had uh, regular maintenance throughout its life, uh, documented, just simple routine maintenance and care throughout its lifetime. 
Uh, the brakes currently, I mentioned the tires are all brand new. Uh, the brakes are 80% remaining uh, front and rear. So all the brakes are in great shape. You can see how clean the head of the rotor is right there. And they've certainly got lots of time left. There's the tire size, 225, 65, 17. Um, brand new tires, nothing really to show there on that tread. All the wheels are um, in really nice shape. Uh, there's really no major marks on any of these wheels. I can show you each one here. You can see how clean the wheel wells are. The body and paint is very clean, very straight. There are very minor, minor few. There's a little scratch here on this door that's been touched up, very small. Probably the worst scratch on it right here on this bumper corner. Real small, been touched up with uh, matching touch-up paint. Um, there's really not many marks at all on the outside and the inside is darn near perfect. We're going to see here in a moment. There's that wheel. Of course, brand new tire. You can see the new shock spring combo right there. Brand, brand new. Yeah, the headlights are fantastic. All the trim on the bumpers is nice. The chrome is in good shape. Even the hood very, very few, uh, the sun's gleaming on it. Well, you can probably really see, you can really see the glacier blue metallic right now. Uh, very few stone chips on the hood. You know, the brunt of the road stuff is gonna happen on the bumper on this because the hood's up so high, but a couple really small stone chips on the, on the edge, like right there. Uh, where's my finger? Right there, that's been touched up. Really small stuff, um, but very, very, very nice and clean overall. Uh, there's that wheel. Shock and straight, you can see as well. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, this wheel has a little bit of uh, brown, I forgot about this, a little bit of brown uh, stain that didn't come off in, in the cleaning process uh, from when the brakes did need to be replaced and uh, carried some brake dust on there that just won't come off. But pretty minor, still looks pretty good overall. Um, so, very clean, very nice. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's take a look under the hood. Um, think about if there's anything else that I wanted to say here. Uh, I think that's everything on the service and the maintenance side of things. Um, let's take a look under the hood real quick, and then we'll look over um, the interior. Um, get a preview there. The interior's in great shape. Very, very nice. Very clean. Really minor imperfections. This is the other thing I was thinking that I wanted to say. Uh, you may already know this if you're looking at this or watching this, but this engine uh, came out in 2003. Yes, 2003. 2.4 liter four cylinder VTEC motor. Uh, this is a timing chain engine, so it does not use a timing belt like the older CRVs did and a lot of older Honda product cars. This is a timing chain, so if you don't know, what that means is that it's you know, should last the life of the engine so long as it's reasonably cared for and has the oil changed on time. Um, you never should really need to replace a timing chain. It should last for the life of the engine. Uh, bottom of the hood is real clean. The hood pad's still in real good shape here, tight. Um, so that's great. It's one less maintenance item that a lot of uh, people associate with Honda with timing belts, but most newer Hondas have gone to chains, like a lot of newer Japanese cars. So less maintenance, less to worry about. Um, it's really a good thing. Uh, battery. Not too much you can really see here, but just uh, cover here for a moment so you can listen to it idle. Engine department. 
All right, close the hood. Um, and let's take a look uh, at the inside. So, driver's side door panel, nice and clean, good shape. A few little marks on the handle from opening and closing and getting in and out. Um, power windows, power locks, of course. Um, so we've got a full set of carpet fitted OEM original manu uh, original floor mats. So they go all the, the driver side one here goes all the way across, and then there's two snaps that connect the passenger side one. So it covers the entire floor. The one in the rear does the same thing. Very nice, very nice. Covers the whole floor. Uh, so we've got a full set front and back, and then additionally, as an extra bonus, I'll show you in the cargo, it has a full set of Honda original rubber floor mats. Uh, they're actually brand new, they've never been used. Um, driver's side seat is excellent, nice and firm. I mean, just really nice, not broken down at all. Side airbags in the seat, um, great shape. Again, comfort for the first time driver, even though this is a manual seat, this is the backrest recline, and then of course forward and back. This is a manual lift, so it can go up, up and down. So making it comfortable for a person to get acclimated. Um, so there's side airbags in the seat. And before I forget to continue about this, side curtain airbags here in the pillar. And in the rear, there are side, there's a side airbag. Uh, I can't quite point at it. Anyway, I'll show you when we get in the back, but there's side airbags front to back in the car, okay? Um, middle console tray here, very nice. Nice to have. It can fold down like that if, you know, you'd rather not have it up, but it's really nice. Couple deep cup holders. There's a power outlet here. There's the factory aux input right here on that. Um, there is another power outlet down here. Couple storage compartments down there. Uh, short little shifter. I actually like this a lot better. Uh, pardon my sniffling, it's cold. Uh, I actually like this a lot better than the previous generation CRV had a uh, stick up here. Um, this is this is quite nice here, just a short little stubby shifter. Simple, easy to use climate control, original radio with, um, I blocked that sun, with uh, a six disc CD changer. And then there's the aux button, which is for the aux that I just showed you over here to plug into. Um, dashboard is in great shape. There's no issues there. There are some Acura product cars we won't talk about that uh, do have some dashboard issues, but not the case on uh, this CRV. Um, power mirrors. That's the traction control off button. Uh, headlights, wipers, steering wheel audio controls. Another good thing for a first time driver to keep them from being uh, distracted on the road. Uh, the steering wheel also, this is another good first time driver or anybody driver thing, but steering wheel goes in and out and up and down. So in, in, out, up or down, up, whatever. It goes four ways. <laughs> so makes it uh, definitely more comfortable, you know, once you get everything like you like it. There's the exact mileage right now, 188646. Uh, runs great, idles perfect. Um, definitely take a look at the other video of me driving the car. You'll see how nicely it runs, drives, shifts, accelerates, cruise control works, everything works. Um, in this menu, oh, yeah, just trying to use my, my clipboard as shade. Um, in this here, if you push the trip odometer, you can see your distance to empty right there, range 299 miles. It does have a full tank of gas as the meter shows right there and then you can push it again to see um, your oil life which is brand new and then it'll show you your average fuel mileage and things like that so a little trip computer right right there um, uh, keys I wanted to mention uh, it has one master key that's right here in the ignition with the keyless entry on it uh, also has two spare keys uh, one other master key just like this, but it, the buttons don't work anymore. Uh, and then the gray valet key. So it has a couple of spare keys as well as that master. Um, does have the all of the owner's manuals uh, with the radio code here in the glove box. Everything's there. Another secret glove box right there. And, uh, oh, here's the one touch, 
one touch power sunroof right there and one touch to close right there um, this is one imperfection I wanted to point out there's a little tiny tear in the fabric right here um, this is also something I wanted to show the Honda sunglass holder which doubles as if your wife or child or whoever have babies it's a baby mirror. So you tilt the sunglass holder like that a third of the way down and you can see your kids in the back seat and see what kind of terrorizing they're doing. So visors are in good shape. Little impression here from a sun, another sunglass holder or garage door opener. Yeah, the mats are in fantastic shape. Um, all the plastic here are very nice. So. Um, back seat is just as clean as the front. There's no issues or any stains or anything like that. And then here's that back mat <clears throat> that goes all the way across. See how it fits like a little puzzle? So it covers the whole back floor, as do the rubber mats that I'm going to show you that are back here in the back. Um, they're the factory ones, so they, so they, I'll show you when we go back there. They cover perfectly like that. Seats fold flat like this, uh, you know, giving you a lot more room to put large things through. Um, very nice, very easy, and then you can also recline like this and back that far to be more comfortable if you're an adult sitting there. Um, the backs of the seats are in great shape. So, very, very nice. Um, the other flaw in the inside that I wanted to show, there's a tear uh, from somebody loading something. You can so see the scratch right here uh, from them loading uh, something. and. Um, and put a little tiny tear in that fabric but it's not a big deal it's not going to get any worse for sure but just want to point it out so there's that door panel all right and back here in the hatch area um clean nice there's the back of the rest of the seat um some scratches on this plastic here but you know wouldn't be an SUV if it didn't have it from loading things in and out, but everything back here is intact. There's another power outlet back here, uh, right over here. Um, and then here's the, these are the OEM, which means original equipment manufacturer. So original made by Honda mats. That's why they say CRV on them. These fit perfectly, just like the carpet ones right now. Those are the two fronts. And then there's the rear piece right here. Also have this black cargo mat back here that fits the cargo area pretty well to keep it covered and nice and then down underneath here uh, spare tire jack uh, tools are right there and the front license plate bracket is right there I uh, removed that because I think it looks better without it but I kept it in case you want to use it so everything is down in the well down here like it should be so there's all of that yeah and this black mat for back here is is nice and keeps this area nice as well so there is all of that back tailgate here a few scratches on this plastic back here too but overall so i like this uh this tailgate's really lightweight um you know grab this handle here give it a little pull boom shut a little popper electronic button right there to open it goes up nice and easy just a quick quick pull and it's down <clears throat> thanks for watching thanks for uh checking me out checking this out subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing here and you like what you see uh back to this seat very nice as you saw from the back a little, a little up close this side of the seat perfect too clean yeah when i mentioned earlier that there were a couple flaws on the interior that i wanted to point out uh, the only they, they were the mark on the headliner there and the mark on the headliner up there there's really nothing else of any substance to speak of um, that i took note of that i wanted to tell you about and i believe in telling everything and being extremely transparent about showing exactly what it is and anything that it isn't because I don't want you to be disappointed in any way. And I don't want you to waste your time or mine. <laughs> uh, look how nice the armrest fabric is. It's clean. It's nice. It's not dirty or dingy. 
passenger side seat is just as clean as the driver, if not even better. Um, there's that mat. Told you about the books in here. A couple really minor scratches on the plastic right there on the dashboard, I guess. I didn't see earlier. Um, just really nice. Listen, it's running still super quiet. There's that door panel. Same thing. A couple little little bit of not even worth mentioning just a little scratch on that gray paint and really small but fabrics real nice <laughs> uh, this seat does not lift like the driver's side like I was talking about over there but nonetheless still uh, still good to have on the driver's side boom well I thank you for watching and listening to me go around it and taking a look at this I think it's a fantastic CRV, uh, very well taken care of by its only one owner, as I mentioned in the beginning, with all of the new parts that have just been put on it by me, uh, or that I had done. <laughs> uh, new tires and new struts and the airbags being replaced under that uh, recall with Honda. Um, I really think uh, can't uh, can't go wrong with this. Um, Thanks again for watching and uh, check out the driving video that I will do here next. Uh, check that out as well and you'll see me driving it and see how nice it is and how well it handles. And uh, thanks again for watching and subscribe to my channel if you like what I do and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.